Well, you'll notice that the song that starts the record is called Black Jack Davy. I consider it like the Tales of Br'er Rabbit as a Rosetta Stone of American musicological and folkloric value. This is a great piece of music. It's a ballad. It's Steve Young singing that song. That's how it started the damn record. Steve Young was a, a man of merit and deserving appreciation. And also I had a fealty to the folk idioms. That's why Black Jack Davy is there. A real piece of Americana. Something beyond my proprietary gain. And uh, this is the way I see the world. Van Dyke always valued Steve Young as an original American, like a really great, genuinely, couldn't come from any other country kind of talent, Steve Young. And Van Dyke and he kind of were making the same sort of pilgrim's progress, trying to get their feet on the ground in Los Angeles at the same time. In any case, very interesting guy, and Van Dyke sort of thought that his saga was worth chronicling. Then Randy Newman wrote a song for me. I wanted to get make sure I got a song done. And Randy Newman, who had been uh, taking uh, odd jobs and like, my God, Peyton Place for TV, and uh, just a, a, a privileged child of uh, Hollywood uh, aristocracy, the Newman family, and well agented and very talented. So Randy knew that I lived on Vine Street. He knew that I'd, I'd put out a record on MGM with Beethoven's beautiful Ninth Symphony Chorale, that theme. Vine Street. I sold the guitar today. I never could play much anymore. By the way, he did a brilliant, a brilliant string arrangement, so graciously conducted by his Uncle Al, who would die in three months of emphysema, his Uncle Al, who did the 20th Century Fox theme. The strings are sultaste, they're very skinny, you'll notice they're very high, they're, so you hear mostly rosin, it's the absence of, of uh, notes. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? We used to live there on Vine Street She made perfume in the back of the room And me and my group would sit out in the stoop And we'd play for her The song she liked best to have us play On So he knew that my uh, my first wife, my squeeze, made perfume in the back of the room. He knew all that, and he threw this biographical wonder at my feet. I played guitar very well, actually. I was alive, but I went along with the gag, and I recorded that. Unknown. 